What's up? John McMillan, Sea Store Secrets here. And this morning I want to talk to you about the culture of your sea store. And do you understand that? Um, and I want to talk to you about that because I just visited a location just a minute ago and the workers were engaged. They were very excited about doing their job for the most part. I mean, I didn't see any issues. The managers were good. And everything was going smooth when I went into the store. I mean, talking to the person that ran the deli, they, you know, they, they were currently out of uh, chicken and the, the chicken program had been shut down for months. And this is someplace I've been visiting for a while, you know, trying to get them to do business with us and just haven't been able to get them to do it. So here they are, you know, six, it's been six to eight months and they're still shut down. They're still not doing chicken. Uh, they do have a, a franchise uh, business in there, like a you know a national franchise, kind of like our Champs program, but um, uh, this is a, like a sandwich place. And they um, they were actually hearing a lot of grumblings from their customers that uh, they really miss the chicken program. And you know, again, I saw an opportunity there. I know that especially with truck stops. You know comfort food is it, it does really well um, yeah I mean they had some some healthy food there in <laughs> excuse me in that sandwich shop but you know you know being off the interstate having the big huge fuel um, canopy and all that stuff for truckers to come in and visit you know regularly that's what they want they want some chicken they want mashed potatoes and gravy and green beans and corn and, and fried apples and they want those things so that they can eat those even as they go down the road or have a nice hot meal you know a lot of times travelers don't get a good home cooked style meal and so having that gives them that feel of, of almost like you're at home but while I was there to get about into the culture part of it um, I was talking to I had been talking to the manager I was talking to the deli manager and the situation blew up behind me that I wasn't even didn't even see coming. Everybody was working hard. Uh, the one gentleman was moving all about the store, cleaning and doing some things, and the manager just happened to notice something that needed attention and wasn't getting the attention I guess that the manager thought it needed, and it blew up. The guy who again was hard worker and doing his doing his job for the C store threw his broom down cussed the manager this was a manager who was actually filling in temporarily and said i'm going home i'm done and to be honest with you given the situation most likely will get fired um, because that's not necessarily a way you want to handle any situation especially with uh customers and visitors in the c-store which luckily there weren't many i think one was in the bathroom and i was the only person but um it blew up and so it got me to thinking you know as a c-store owner how often do you really um, talk to your employees? How often do you pay attention to, to their needs, to the things that they say, and, and what's going on in your C-Store? Because, you know, a lot of times C-Store owners and managers lose good employees, and it does come back to not understanding simple situations. Uh, for example, you know, because of COVID, there's a lot of things going on. Um, people are having to take quarantines. People are having to, to be off for work. And, and what it does is it changes the environment and it changes the culture, even if it's temporary. It changes it in that location. And today, uh, where that change had been taking place, where you have somebody else helping manage uh, over a two-week period, uh, that culture blew up. And that situation that I witnessed was because over a period of time um, when somebody's brought in that manages and does things differently uh, personalities and, and things like that clash and so here we are this worker threw the broom down one of the aisles and slammed it on the ground so it's laying there cussed and pointed at this manager multiple cuss words and said and went back into the back room got his jacket said he's leaving now the manager did say calm down, but at this point, that manager has probably lost that employee. They've lost them maybe forever. Um, and why? If you really look at the situation, they both wanted the same thing. He wanted to do his job to the best of his ability. 
because he did say, you know, why are you doing that? That's what I do. I just cleaned over in that area, you know, and cussed her and, and was leaving. She said, calm down. She was doing something. Once again, she's doing her job. She wants that C store to be and look good for customers coming in so that they have a good experience. They both want the same thing, but there's a lack of communication there. There's a lack of culture. There's a lack of understanding. This is things that you can train your people on. This is things that you can train them to be aware of. You know, the good thing is they're all going in the same direction. They all want the same thing. The bad thing is, is there's not that communication. So. As a C-Store owner, as a C-Store manager, you have to make sure you know your people and know what's going on and understand situations. So if you're that manager that's coming in and having to manage, you gotta understand things are done differently. They're not gonna be used to your personality. You have to communicate even more because where you, you know you're not gonna be there for an extended period of time, you have to have more patience. You have to have more communication so that you don't create bad situations for people who you're not gonna see, you're not gonna follow, you're not gonna be around because it's not your store. And for employees who have this manager coming in, you have to have more patience. You have to understand that they're not gonna be there for a very long time, so they are gonna do things differently. They do run their store differently. They probably have a different style of C-store. Um, and so what that means is, is that you have to have patience to understand that they're gonna be, they're gonna communicate differently. Maybe not as much or as good as the other person. Maybe that other that other manager who's normally there is, maybe they're your best friend and you can say and do things that you wouldn't normally do and communicate in a way that you wouldn't normally communicate because you have that close relationship. So, you know, I just wanted to, to, to point this situation out because it does happen a lot. It, it does happen in a lot of instances with chains, with multiple locations. You have different people with different styles that run things differently. And when you don't think about your culture, when you don't think about having those conversations with your managers on how to communicate, remind them that they're going into a scenario and a situation where they don't normally go, you have to give them that heads up. Hey, look, this manager does this this way. I like this. You're only going to be there for a few weeks. So let's Let's, you know, be patient with them. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll remind them to be patient with you. Let's work through, you know, this couple of weeks. It's hard on everybody. We're all trying to help each other out, but remember the one goal in mind, customer service, have fun at work. Let's all help each other out. You gotta remind them of those things. That's one thing I like about PFS Brands and, you know, list, reading the book this morning that I was reading, Jack Daly, you know, have fun at work. Empower your employees to have fun. Um, that's what it's about. It's about having fun and serving the customer. So keep that in mind as you guys run and manage these C stores. Um, be patient with each other. Remember that it's that it's that it's about everybody having that same goal in mind, but but being able to to work together, to have fun, to um, trying to search for the right words here. But it's not personal. It's, it's not personal at all, but, but it, it is a job. It is a C-store. So focus on the customer, focus on the customer experience, and everything can go slightly better. And, and you can move on and understand that, yes, you all have the same goals in mind, and you're all working toward the same thing so that that customer has that great experience, not to be repetitive, but... That may, and that may be the solution for a lot of these situations is if you focus 100% on customer service, you think about, I was in that C-store, I was technically a customer as far as they knew, would that situation be something that you want a customer to walk in on? So that's where you gotta say, hey look, let's go, let's go talk about this in the back room. I know you're upset, let's go talk about it. Pull that situation out. So just wanted to share that thought with you guys. As always, I love you guys. Hopefully you have a great day. And uh, if you haven't bought the C-Store Secrets book, you know, something I talk about in there is customer service. That book might be able to help you out. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.